Eagle has landed. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of Arnold Space Station. In today's episode, we're gonna have a look at what record types are and why you should use them. Uh, if you have been following the series, please don't forget to like or subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you've got comments, please ensure you leave them down below. Let's go have a look at this episode. So, record types inside Salesforce. Now, I'm gonna do the best that I can to explain what that is to you. Uh, record types can be very complicated. Um, so the best way that I can describe that is a record type is essentially uh, you being able to record different pieces of information or data and uh, therefore associate a different process to it um, within the exact same object. Now, I think giving you guys an example is definitely gonna help make this easier. Um, let's take uh, a customer as a record type. So your business requirements need you to record both customer and supplier information inside Salesforce. Um, what you can do is you can use the account object and create uh, two record types, one being customer and the other one being supplier. Now what that will allow you to do is in the customer record type, you can have different pieces of information like you may wanna collect their date of birth as an example, um, whereas on the supplier side, you may wanna collect or, or record what their individual supplier number is. So that's how you will be able to get the differentiation between uh, those two record types, and that's what it'll allow you to do. Now, why use a record type? Um, using a record type can certainly streamline processes in your business. Why? Because that reduces the need uh, to create a whole bunch of custom objects. Um, you know, think about it that you want to record customer information, supply information, partner information. Uh, you then also want to uh, record, um, you know, referrals, so on and so forth. It can get very complex. Um, and building out custom objects for all of those things um, can be very tedious. So using one object with multiple record types will give you the flexibility. It also means that you start to have your data model in a much simpler format, uh, and as a result, you don't have to make something very complicated that doesn't need to be. Um, using record types will also allow you to tag uh, different aspects as a result and give you some a lot more finite reporting uh, as a result. So let's go ahead and have a look at how we can do this inside Salesforce. So once you've logged into Salesforce, navigate to the setup using the cogwheel on the right hand side. Once you're in setup, we're going to go ahead and go into Object Manager. Inside Object Manager, we're going to go to Account. Once you're in account, on the left hand side, as you scroll down, you'll notice a menu item called Record Types. So as part of this particular exercise, we're going to create two record types. One is going to be a supplier or a partner, and the other record type is going to be a B2B business customer. So I'm gonna go ahead and click New. Once I click new, it's going to ask me um, which existing record type I'm going to use to create the new one. As you know, in Salesforce, when you clone something or create something new, especially with things like record types or any system level operations, it will always ask you to clone it from an existing one. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and call this supplier. And the record type name is automatically gonna be pre-filled in. Uh, as you'll see, this is the unique API name and I'm gonna allow Salesforce to set it up for us. In the description, I'm gonna go ahead and add used for supplier accounts. I'm gonna make sure that it is active and it is enabled for all profiles. Now what you'll actually notice is that because we're creating a record type, 
the master record type that exists in the system will no longer be used. And every single profile will have this new record type enabled and enabled as default. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Once I do that, it's going to ask me if I want to allocate different page layouts um, for this particular record type. And I can do so by allocating different page layouts for different profiles as well. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the default account page layout. Once I've done that, I'm going to click Save and New. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because we're going to add our second record type. So in this case, I am going to add the record type and call it Business Customer. I'm going to let Salesforce automatically put in the name. And I'm gonna put in here in the description, used for business customer accounts. I'm gonna make sure it's enabled on all profiles. And I'm also gonna make it the new default. And the reason for that is because 90% of the time or thereabouts, every single person that's using Salesforce will most likely create opportunities uh, and contacts and have interactions with business customers a little bit more than uh, suppliers or partners. Um, you can certainly change that depending on what your business model is. Uh, but based on this particular scenario, I think uh, a lot of Salesforce users will have a lot more interaction with business customers. Even when they convert opportunities, uh, a lot of them are going to be for customers and not so much for suppliers. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next in here. I am then gonna come and select account layout and I'm gonna click save. Now that I've created two record types, as you can see, uh, we can then go ahead and edit the pick list values for each record type if needed. Uh, and we can certainly change those defaults as well. Now I've kept most of that the same. What I am going to do and show you uh, how we can do this is I'm going to create two new page layouts and I'm going to create them from the account layout. I'm gonna click new, and I'm gonna clone the existing page layout, and I'm going to call this business customer page layout. And I'm gonna click save. Once I do that, it is gonna go ahead and take me to the page, and I'm gonna click save, because I haven't particularly added all the fields that I want yet. Uh, the next one I'm gonna go ahead and create is going to be the supplier page layout. So in this case, I'm gonna clone the account layout again, and I'm gonna call this supplier page layout. Perfect. Once I've done that, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to assign these two brand new page layouts that I've created to each record type. So I'm going to go into page layout assignment and as you can see, pretty much every single profile and record type actually is only using the one page layout. Now clearly for business customers, there'll be extra fields uh, that we might want that are specific to that particular customer. And the same on the supplier end as well. So we would certainly like to have different page layouts so we can show those fields and ensure that only the fields that are relating to each of these record types are displayed. I'm gonna go ahead and click edit, and I'm gonna select each and every single one of these profiles in the business uh, customer record type, and I'm going to assign them business customer page layout. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing on supplier. I'm gonna scroll down, select all of them using shift, and I'm gonna say, you know what, you guys should all get the supplier page layout assigned as part of that record type. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Once I do click save, it's gonna go ahead and make this change in the back end. And now I'm going to just add one field to show you the difference. Um, and I'm, that's gonna be one field in each of those record types. So I'm gonna click on new. I'm going to go ahead and create a text field as an example and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one um, customer account number in this case I'm going to say that the most 
in terms of the customer account number that we may want to give this particular customer. It is going to be 12 characters. I'm going to say that it is going to be unique um, and we should certainly look at them as different characters, okay? I'm gonna make sure that this is in fact visible to all profiles. And once I click next, it is now gonna ask me which page layout does this particular field need to relate to. And clearly, if I go ahead and only select the business customer page layout, that means that anytime someone creates a brand new record type called business customer, it gets assigned this page layout, and therefore that field will be available for them to use as part of that record type. So I'm gonna click save and new, because I am going to go ahead and create one more field. And this time it is going to be a text field again. And it's going to be for my supplier. So I'm gonna call it supplier account number. And for my supplier, I've only got five characters. because We don't have that many suppliers. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna make sure it is visible to every single profile to start off with. And I'm gonna click next. Once I do that, I'm gonna make sure that it only is visible on the supplier page layout. And therefore that field will be uh, tied into that particular record type. And I'm gonna click save. Once I've done that, let's go ahead back to the front end and have a look and see that we can in fact see those different fields that we created in each of those record types. I'm gonna to go to the home screen. I'm going to refresh the page just to make sure that any changes that I just made uh, do in fact take effect. Once I do that, I'm going to create a brand new account. Now because I created those two record types, you'll notice that it now gives me an extra added option uh, or extra step where I have to select the record type in order for me to then be able to add the data into uh, the specific account. So in this case, we're gonna go into the business customer first. As you can see, the description that was added now appears here. Um, the shorter, the better. Uh, that way, in case you have multiple record types, it just means it keeps things a lot cleaner. So I'm gonna click next. And in here, I'm going to add test business customer. And then as we scroll down, we should see something called customer account number. Um, now based on the brand new release, Salesforce does in fact give you a field called account number. Um, but for the purpose of this exercise, you can see we've created another one. And if I keep scrolling down, nowhere in here, I can see supplier account number, which is great. So I'm gonna just give this customer business customer uh, a number calling them um, business customer account one two three four five six seven eight nine okay as an example I'm going to click save now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another record and this time I'm going to select them as a supplier so in this case, I'm going to click new account. I'm going to select supplier. And I'm gonna call this test supplier account. And as I scroll down, you'll notice in place of where customer account number was, we now in fact have supplier account number. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna call it SAN, which is supply account number. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's gonna stop at about two because we selected it as five. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And you will now notice that it has gone ahead and saved and added that in. So that's how you can create a brand new record type and create multiple of them if you like, assign them multiple page layouts, and record different pieces of information on each and every single piece of record type. Hey guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please ensure you subscribe to this channel so you can get all the brand new episodes that are coming up. 
Please also ensure you share this material if you liked it and make sure you click here for some more videos.